Hey up everyone, Rich here at Only Vans. Today we've had the pleasure of being invited to Spinney at Flintshire to have a look at some of their 2022 models. I hope you enjoy. One of the most common questions that we get asked is, is there value to be had anymore in caravans? So what we've got here is a Swift Sprite Musketeer EB from 2010 and you're going to get a whole lot of caravan for less than £10,500. Wait till you see inside. So first impressions then. So I suppose my first impressions are that it's possible that you can get a caravan for under £10,500 and I think that people you will hear say oh caravans are expensive and caravans are you know there's what this proves is that there are caravans available for all budgets so for people that haven't got 20 30 40 000 pounds going to buy a caravan then you have options now um i have seen my brother's a prime example he's done up my trailer tent it looks fantastic and there's quite a thing at the moment for people that are doing you know i think it's called upcycling or something like that so quick point if you have bought an older caravan and you've done it up, pop down in the comments below for me because I'd be really interested to see to see what you've done. Um, but you know, this is a five berth caravan with a bathroom, a oven and a grill, and a fridge uh, with a freezer box. So you know, I, it's got three bunk beds. You know, and I think if you're looking to get into caravanning and you've got a family and you don't want to go and spend mad mad money then a hundred percent like i said in my blog which i'll put a link for down below is that there's definitely definitely value to be had if you look in the right places so the living space then so this obviously pulls out into a double bed which i'll show you in a minute but in terms of size it's got a u-shaped living room and i really really like u-shaped living rooms the next kind of one we're going to get is going to be an l-shape because that face-to-face -face one Drives Lisa Barmy, um, but U-shaped, L-shaped living rooms, I'm a big, big, big fan of. So let's have a look at the living room storage, first of all. So we have this cupboard here, which, you know, there's loads of space in there. Another one here, loads of space. We have this one, loads of space. So straight away, you can see that there is plenty of room for you to put whatever it is that you need as well nice little bit of detailing there which i quite like um moving around to this side so mirror image so you've got a cd player there um as well which you know like i said this is a 2010 model so cd player speakers around uh, radio in there as well christ and in there uh toaster doesn't come with it um and then finally in here is where you've got your Chris information and another storage. So down below you've got your storage here. So the handle is broke on that, but that'd be easily fixed. Um, and then you've got big storage under there. And then on this side, you've got your fuse box and you've got loads and loads of storage space under there as well. One of your vents for your blown air central heating. It's like a bloody microwave in here. The most important thing to remember with stuff like this is, is it's not going to be the first girl that gets asked to dance at the disco. Do you know what I mean? It might be one of the latter ones, but if you put the time into it, then you could absolutely make this a beautiful van. Side there, you've got your TV stand. So that's where you've got your Truma heating there. And you've got your 12 volt three pin and your TV aerial uh, there as well. Draw with all your paperwork. The draw, a draw, and then a big cupboard here that's got a load more storage in. You've got your radiator there and your heating there. Into this nice big mirror there, which has a door. So you've got your table, your TV aerial as well. Uh, and access down there to the tacky stuff at the back. So 2010 caravan then into the bathroom. So plenty of space in here. So you've got a sink, you've got two cupboards there, one there and one that side for plenty of storage. 
toilet there with your flusher and you've got a towel holder there and that's your rail that goes all the way around for the shower curtain and you've got your shower in front well like i said once again you know, this is for less than ten and a half thousand pounds so when you take that into account there's a, an astronomical amount of van to work with kitchen area now so starting off up top a big old cupboard in there for lots of stuff space in there for showers if you wanted to put them in and then here is another big whole load of storage we've got a three pin plug there sink bowl doesn't come with it but you've got a big circular sink in there as well plenty of preparation space in the kitchen and you've got your oven top three gas rings grill oven and some storage down below onto more storage at the side here cutlery um you know fairy up liquid and all that sort of stuff and then into the fridge so it's a big old sized fridge really when you think this is 12 years old freezer box in there it's a big old kitchen space now one of the unique selling points of this van so just by the front door here and on your right hand side you've got three already made bunks so you've got your ladder there bunk one with storage middle bunk storage and the back window and the top bunk with some more storage in there and here you've also got a storage space for storing clothes and stuff like that a little thing that i like as well is you've got a little net here which slides across so if you want to watch tv at the front with your significant other you can do that and you can cordon the kids off so i do like that so the conclusions then so is this van going to need a bit of work yeah it is is it the sort of thing that if you did the work yourself you know you could probably really really jazz it up for nowhere near 500 pounds with paint and real upholstery some soft furnishings and stuff like that so like it goes to show that there is value out there and for ten and a half thousand pounds if i was looking to get into caravanning and i knew how to do the real upholstery and the you know the wood effects and all that if i knew how to do it all 100 percent, i'd be looking at getting a cheaper van and then doing up to my own sort of aesthetic pleasing if you know what i mean um so the I, I i really like it and that's and that's the thing don't just get turned off of caravanning because you think it's all too expensive like i say it's like houses do you want one that's already done up to a top specification or do you want to buy one that you're prepared to put some work into and it's the same with com all commodities and caravans are a commodity um but if you've got the patience and the time and a, a relatively tight budget have a look at something like this so once again this is at spinny and flincher um, and you get all this caravan for £10,450. It's an absolute bargain.